Hello viewers, Seraph here. Welcome to part 6 of Let's Play Rome 2 Total War as Macedon. Um, let me give you guys a quick overview. We just wiped out Athens and Sparta and taken their lands. Um, now we're going to move on towards Crete once we get our empire stabilized and under control. Um, it left it kind of off at kind of the end of the last turn and I was renaming armies. Now I know I'm using Roman numerals for the armies and I will be using Roman numerals for the navies as well. Um, Greek numerals use letters of the Greek alphabet and since I can't type those, um, I'm just going to use Roman numerals because it's easier for me. Uh, oh, now they want to trade. Absolutely, 100%. Let's trade. Um, so our naming scheme is going to be... The armies are going to be named for the Generals of Alexander. Um, and the uh, fleets are, will be named for the gods. Uh, whoa, that's going to be expensive. Kalos. Hold on. No. Show me something else. I want to look at my... I want to look at my faction page. Well, it won't let me do it. So, um... Uh, I want the money more than I want a wife. Sorry. Instrument of power. Recruited dignitary. Eh. So we've got the, uh... Uh, we're using the, the Greek's name, so Antipatros is uh, Antipater. Perdiccas is easy, it just changes the kind of the C's to K's. Um, then we have Alexandros, which is the Greek way of saying Alexander, and then Antigonus, um, which we kind of stole from the game itself, because it was nice and kind to us. Um, so that'll make it a little slightly more Greek sounding. I know it doesn't, I don't speak any Greek. Um, but, I don't know, I felt bad about using the Roman numerals, <laughs> so I used uh, the Greek spellings of the names, of course, in, you know, English letters. So, we need a new technology. Uh, that's done, we've got that food. That's all set, so we're going to work on getting this, so we can recruit dignitaries now. Um, tax rate, plus 2% money everywhere. Or plus 10% wealth from culture and fewer political incidents. Uh, I like the sound of fewer political incidents. We're going to get both of them, which is going to drop our corruption. Uh, and then we'll start working on military technologies. Um, who is this? This is Carpophorus from Bithynia. It's an interesting fellow. It's kind of odd. They seem to have a, sort of Galatian units, but they're a Hellenistic faction. So I think that's kind of interesting. So, we'll, uh, we're going to start threatening Crete pretty soon. Uh, once this army is up to full strength, uh, and it will be within not too, too long, uh, I would like some more elite... Like, I'd really like it if I could recruit some Thorax swords down here. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be uh, in the cards, though, unfortunately. Uh, at least not until I get the, uh, the Hellenization technology. Then I can get... Uh, Wow, it's Royal Peltus, even. Thorax Swords, which are really going to be cheaper. Much, much cheaper. Thorax Pikes. Um, all that jazz. But for now, we're going to have uh, Hoplites hold down the flanks. Probably just Militia Hoplites should be fine. Um, so I'm going to do three more Skirmish Units, because these guys are going to decimate infantry. Uh, and then the last three units will be uh, a couple units of hoplites and then one unit of pikes. And that will fill out this army the rest of the way. Uh, this army does need some fixing. Um, but conveniently, we can actually now just recruit Cav into it. Which is fantastic. We're very excited to have that citizen Cav. And can I recruit up here? This is empty. I'm not really... Is this army full? Yeah, this army's full anyway. I'm not super keen on it. I'd rather have the money. So let's um pop up an outskirts here. We're going to have a really hard time Hellenizing this province with um 
Libya controlling fully half of it, and then the Romans controlling the other one. So public, we're probably just going to leave. Honestly, this second army, which I believe is led by Antigonus himself. Let's uh, double check on that. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. So this is actually led by our faction leader. It'll be led by someone else eventually. But honestly, he's probably going to live out the rest of his days in southern Italy, which, uh, you know, it's a nice place. Um, but I'm going to need to station an army here basically perpetually in order to, to maintain the region and decent public order in the region. So, come back over here. He's recruiting down here. He's recruiting up here. Actually, first things first, we need to get some more shipbuilding going on. Uh, these guys are replenishing. We'll need to get him into Athens, is what we'll do. So he can replenish the rest of the way. These artillery pentaries are just so good. So I have three units of tower pentaries. Two of these. I have four screens. So let's get another couple screens. Um, and that'll be actually all of my money. So we've got good damage dealing from these archers. I wish I knew how to turn on flaming shot. Um, maybe it just you need a better ship for flaming shot. Um, this These things one shot a hexares, an assault hexares, which is a capital ship. So that's pretty exciting. This unit over here, I don't want to recruit any more slingers. Likely he'll just sit here and continue to pump public order in the region. Public order's at six. Um, yeah, we kind of need him. Um, military, actually we don't need him, well it'll still go up without him. But the faster this goes up, the sooner we can get to, um, the next tier of incur populace encouragement, which I think is over 50. And Bithynians are just chilling up there for whatever reason. Cool. So that's this turn. Uh, let me double check, and now that we've got a lot more stuff... Let's see if we can trade with anyone else. The BFE kind of hate us, but we have lots and lots and lots of materials. Nope, non-aggression. Nope. Carthage, we don't have an interest in. Uh, let's see about a non-aggression pact. Moderate. Trade agreement, low. Both together, no. Alright, so they're not fans of us. The Catiairoi actually... Um, they should be pretty happy with us. They, we already have a non-aggression pact because we accidentally threw a ton of money at them. But now we're trading, which is great news. Chimeria, Cyprus. I won't always want to call them Kypros because that's what the the province here is in a, another game. Yes, we're gonna trade with the the Kypriots, I believe is what the uh, what people from Cyprus are called. We will not trade with the Etruscan. Basically, anyone Rome hates, we don't want anything to do with. So, New Carthage, Rhodes, uh, is still independent. We might actually just For the sake make of them have all the sorts of a bad day. Will you trade? Oh, they will totally trade with me. We have a non-aggression pact with them. Now, Gnosis, right here. We don't even have a non-aggression pact. They despise us. So we'll just go ahead and add them to our empire. We'll leave Rhodos since they're giving us uh, income from trade. They're importing basically everything. Actually, they're importing everything we produce. So that's that's a good time. Let's actually look at our... Oops. Look at our finances over here. Trade. So from Rhodes, we're getting 200 per turn. Our best trade partner is probably Pontus and Rome. But everyone's giving us about 200. Pontus and Rome, more. The RDA, more. But this is good. This is really good. Ah, so you get bonuses for long-term partnerships. It tells you whether it's a land or a sea route. What they produce, I think. Yes. All right. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. And the turn, moving on. Rome, Carthage, Egypt, Seleucid, Bactria. It's taking a little while, huh? Alright, well... So once that army's all ready, we're gonna sail across the sea. We're gonna 
Actually, before I even do that, I'm going to recruit up a spy. Um, and if Bithynia, I would rather, I think... Ooh, it's really hard to say. The Bithynians are a little aggressive. Pergamon and RDA are likely can be trusted not to do anything cheeky. Military organization. It will give us bonus morale for all units for four turns. If we research something from tactics. So they're troubled. Oh dear. Household expands. Plus one authority. Mm, that armor is so good. We'll send him to the pool. So we've recruited some stuff. We finished a farm in Apollonia. Finished that. Great. Good, 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 good. Everything is just peachy. Well, that's interesting. The um, Hellenistic village... Uh, it's The wealth from this town is from agriculture. So I actually have a lot of agriculture wealth. I wonder if I should have... Um, Maybe I can do that with my last building here. Uh, I don't think I can. Um, I can convert this over is what I can do. It's I can convert this over to the uh, Grove of Nymphs. For eight public order. Mm, that'll be good, I think. So we're only gaining one per turn here. We probably have a lot of slaves is probably the problem. Oh, yeah. So the the issue is just that we have too many slaves. What are you what are you doing? Protectors of the Adarim. What what are you doing over here? Go away. Um So, first things first, let's recruit a new spy. Cool. So she's another brothel worker, I think. Cheaper construction bonus wealth from industry. Let's do it. Let's recruit a Euthymia. Boom. Great. We'll recruit up the last few units. Pikes, a couple hoplites. Um, we'll continue to just make this fleet better and better and better. Six screens should be sufficient. So we'll add another two uh, primary damage dealers. Uh, this army here only needs one more soldier. Um, oh, and uh, the spy attached to it could get bonus critical chance. Ooh, that's a huge percentage increase. Um, she's just very, very high rank. Wow, that's incredibly impressive. So we're going to chill out for now. Colossus. Uh, Wenatum. So, Stolos is the, the modern Greek word for navy. I couldn't find a uh, ancient. I know Stratos is the modern Greek word for army. So that's what we're going to call the stuff. Pergamon is hopefully just going to go ahead and, and go right on home. Uh, we don't have any quarrel with them. That's all we're doing this turn. We haven't met anybody new, and we don't really intend to. We're gearing up for an invasion of Egypt, which is going to kind of leave us a little vulnerable back home. And I'm going to have to look... <laughs> once I start recruiting more armies, I'm going to have to look up more names of Alexander's generals, because I just do not know them offhand. Uh, looks like they're going to head home. That's good. All right, we, the Bithynians are going to go exactly right back where we want them to be. Not bothering us. And not doing anything. A noble death, so that will be... Antagonist. Yep, so he dies. Mission failed, muster army at Loris. Ah, oh, whatever. Assassination attempt. Oh, they just tried to assassinate Androcles. You bastards. The degree to which that is not acceptable it cannot be overstated. You know what? You are on backwoods duty, buddy. Oh, wow. 
Who else died? Oh no, they wounded my other general. Uh, which kind of led to them taking over all of my armies, huh? So Androcles is wounded, those rat bastards. Intelligent. Likes Greeks, likes Easterners, personal tutor. Uh, if his, if he didn't have this right here, he would be getting murdered right about now. Uh, if I had money. That is infuriating. That really is. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say the fleet is likely big enough. Let's go test the waters and see... Actually, before we before we even do that, let's uh, snag the spy, Eurythymia. How much can she see of what's going on just, just on her own? Um, spies are really how you want to get your vision. So... There we go. I uh, can't see anything going on on this side. He has a 20 stack of pure militia basically. A handful of slingers, javelins, Therio spears, Tarantine cav. Uh, you know, I think I will just bring another army. That's what I'll do. Um, we really need more public order here. Oh, the Hellenistic Komai gives bonus public order. The <laughs> wine. So wine gives public order. That's actually great. Um, so we'll upgrade that consume a, a wee bit of food, but not too much. Um, we could recruit some Peltists. They're much better armored. Um, they, they just do worse in melee. They have lower health and lower morale. Excuse me. Um, we'll pick up one of those. We're going to want to convert our slingers largely over. What are you doing here? You know, they might be at war with Rome now. they got some Carthaginian hoplites, some Libyan infantry, which are actually pretty decent. Like, they're actually... Uh, I don't know if they're a match for Roman infantry, but they're definitely pretty darn good. Um, is there anything I can do on the cheap that I actually want to get done? Brick Baker, no, down here. Uh, I could upgrade the Komai. Um, but I'm not really that enthused by it. Um, it is a little more money. It is more marble, but I don't want to, I can't really afford the public order malice right now. Uh, just like up here, I can't really afford the public order. Actually, here's what I'll do. Uh, I'll raise. I'll have to use this jerk. Another guy is an army. The defenders of Olympus. Jerks. So, we'll change the name later. Uh, for now, we'll just start on the cheap units. Oh, we can field some archers. I wonder if that's worth it. Um, they have the same... Their, their missile damage is actually quite high. Let me actually take a look at that. Um, I wonder if I can mouse over it there and it'll show me. I wonder if I can get it to... Uh, show me some contextual tooltips about... How armor piercing that is. Over here, maybe? Uh, so it's base 12 and armor piercing 4. Archers are base 25, armor piercing 2. And then javelins are going to be base 20, armor piercing 7. So they do better damage through armor, they do better damage overall. Hmm. 
I have less armor. I wonder if it's worth it to just pick up some cheap, cheap little archers. Maybe what I'll do is I'll pick up the axemen, and then I'll pick up archers to go behind the axes. So I'll pick up a couple axes. Um, public order is going to suffer here, uh, as it is. As it tends to, um, we're just going to not recruit this unit. Right, right, not right there at any rate. We'll wander on south. We have a lot of hoplites. We're going to see about upgrading this army and converting it over to something more useful. And less, um... I mean, hoplites just cost so incredibly much. Pikes are a good unit. They're not really as good stat-wise, but they have pikes, which is a nice advantage. Um, pick up the Agrianian Axeman. We'll have him recruit there. Then we'll just force march on south. And we're going to put this unit to port in Athenai. That'll help with the public order a significant amount while we're, uh, while we're, we're replenishing the unit. Uh, in the meantime... And turn off we go. So Apollonia is going to be one of our more vulnerable points, but uh, maybe I'll just raise an army there. That could be okay. I could raise a couple. I'm gonna, I'll raise a couple small armies at home, and I'll have a couple armies that are going to go off on campaign. Um, I think that's the plan. I really cannot remember the names of, uh... Oh, well. I can look it all up. It looks like the Veneti and the, uh... Euthymia. Oh, Pukestus died. So, Aristophantes. Um... Foreign Traitor. Oh, we'll see. He likes Metrophanes, is one of them, and he likes Easterners. I believe he is. Yeah, the only ones we even have left are Kalos and Androcles. Everyone else is from these other families. So we're going to have to be very, very wary of these guys. He's young, too. Uh, we really want to get rid of him. We have a foreign trainer. Foreign trader is a regular... monopolizing the trade. Give it to the gods. Um, I want money, though. Trade exotic items will only improve our trade. I wonder if... I guess this will be buy all his silk. Let's try that. We'll see what happens. I'm not sure what's gonna go... what's gonna go down. Um... Dang. We'll, we'll at least wait for Androcles to recover. I can even have my own guy assassinated. Let's secure a promotion for him, though. While he's, while he's injured, we can promote him. So we'll head on down here. We will go ahead and... New candidate will be available next turn. Thank goodness for that. So we'll recruit a couple more units into the jerks. Um, and we will actually... We'll, we'll experiment a little bit with some archers. Coming up behind those guys. Costs many dollars. This can be upgraded for a ridiculous, really, really, like, gratuitously large amount of public order. So we'll get that Odeon. We have one over in Brundisium. And we have one here. We're going to get that Brick Dryer as well, since we get a little bit of bonus income from it. And it does give a lot, a lot, a lot of money, which is unaffected by a large number of things. Um, we're not going to do anything with them. Let's get up on the beach. Let's head on down here. Uh, looks like they don't even have a fleet that I can see. They have Zotikos the hero.
Um, but our goal is just going to be kind of to not have to, basically, um, deal with this guy. We're going to send our spy all the way down to Greece. Actually, whoa, we're just going to land and war, war deck him basically instantly. We might even do we might even do the entire invasion from the sea. I have a large navy. Um that would give me an insane range advantage. We'll see. Either way, we're, our spy is going to continue on now that she's been to Crete. She'll continue south. Paramonos has ranked up. Euthymia, they spotted. Great. Enemy wounded. Brundisium. Umashtart. Who the heck? The Seleucids have been obliterated. Great. I'll change their name so it's not so ridiculous later. The Mistress of the Wild aids her hunters. Plus one food. Great. Parthava. You know what happened is I bet they got crushed by a rebellion that uh, led to Parthava coming back. I will bet that's what happened. Paramonos. More stuff. Let's go strength. I'm... We're not at war with anyone, are we? We don't have any actual enemies. Just uh, people who dislike us to some extent. Our income is kind of starting to plummet. Macedonia is suffering from a lack of public order. I will actually convert this over to the Grove of Nymphs, because that will help a significant amount. Um, yeah, so... What we'll do is we'll move um, this army down to Larissa. We'll force march him over into Pella. And then we'll raise one last army. Yay! Asclepios! Plus 10% morale for all units. Great! You get to lead a real army. The Sons of Rhea. And you're just gonna chill in Apollonia for now? And now public order here is okay. Stratos Antipater. So we're going to go into Force March. Both these guys. Alright, and so that is actually pretty much fine. We're going to grab our navy and grab our navy. Thank you. Grab our navy. We'll row hard. Stance double time. We'll put him right there. So we're losing four public order, but that's okay because we're going to get another bonus five from the Odeon as soon as it completes. Uh, I may want to do most of my recruiting up in Macedon, actually, rather than in... um. Well, having that is going to allow me to recruit good, strong units on Crete. Excuse me, to update this army to more modern tactics. But such a thing is somewhat expensive. This costs too much money. That's fine. This is fine. So they should be motivated. There we go. So a motivated populace gives you bonus tax, even more bonus growth, and we can start growing that even more. 
We are going to want to stick in here a shrine because we do have this wealth from industry. A lot of it out of our, um, our Hellenistic Komai. Not, not as much as we would get from this brick breaker. Brick baker. So we'll build a shrine to Hephaestos here to, to pump up that industrial income some. And this is just subsistence, which I don't think can be boosted by anything other than all uh, wealth from all. So that'll do it for that turn. Um, oh, I forgot to have her continue onward. That's fine. I'll see who gets angry at me when I obliterate Gnosis here. So the plan is to land the front army next to Gnosis. I'm not really sure what the deal is with, like, large numbers of armies. I know 40 is the most units that can actually fit in a battle. You just have to run, like, this endurance gauntlet to grind down something like four armies. Or, or six armies or something like that. Like, one of my family members is being blackmailed. Counter the rumors. Pirates taken control of the oceans rampant piracy where 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 are the pirates it, it doesn't even say it just says piracy where where is the piracy it's everywhere um i know the uh over here the illyrians did a lot of piracy on Ro which it was ended up getting what getting them in trouble with rome in the first place Aristophanes and Asclepios are now welcoming to foreigners. I really don't like that this army is here. What does welcoming to foreigners do? Bit of our freed slave. Interesting. He's married. Fire thing. We need the side of our manly Roman husband. We'll replace Roman with Greek and we'll we'll go with absolutely that. Wow. So what we'll do is we'll take a captain of hoplites for him. I'm slightly concerned by this Libyan army here. Are you going to try and kill me? I I know client states can declare war on their own. What the heck is going on? Oh, the, oh, the Etruscan League. Hello there. This could prove profitable. Uh, what'll happen if we step outside of Brundisium? Horrible, horrible things. Why would you do that? Oh, we'll build the Odeon. That'll help. I know this will piss them off. But really, I kind of would rather almost just have Rome on my side. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. How high quality is it? How able will I be to deal with it? Very on, I think is the answer. Let's just force march the rest of the way back home. The Etruscans will be pissed at us. That'll make Rome like us a, a, a smidgen better. Hopefully the Etruscans will get pissed enough to attack. And that's really concerning, so I'm going to run away. Yeah, the they have some units there. Why don't you go actually all the way to Apollonia? And you come up and just trade him your army? And then go chill in Pella. That's what you'll do. And I'm going to take the jerk spit off there. Even though they are. It'll be five Stratos. Actually, you'll be you'll be six Stratos. Uh, and you'll be five, five Stratos. Uh, we'll, we'll name them later, uh, if we can remember to. If not, it's fine. No stance. 
Trespassing. No stance. No stance. I bet they're really concerned right about now, or they would be if they had time to be. Declare war. Let's see who's a true friend. All right, all of them. So Hera has surely turned her back on us. It looks like they all kind of fight together. Is that how this works? Ah, oh, I see. So if you fight it, they'll all come on, but it will... So, we will Protective Stance Resolve. And victory is ours. So, Gnosis and the province in its entirety are now ours. Uh, we could get a lot of money by occupying, but we can't afford the, the instability in our other provinces. We didn't even lose any ships. Uh, so, we'll occupy the city. Gnosis is destroyed. Third Army Antipater levels up. So they're formidable spearmen. Now, I don't know if that applies to pikes. I think I would imagine it does, because pikes are spears. Right, so what we're going to do is we'll dock this unit. That'll help kind of stop the bleeding, so to speak. Uh, we'll hop up on land here with him. And we will send her right down towards the coast. We're just going to sail straight south because we're not I'm not really sure how far west Egypt's territory is going to extend. Likely we'll want to begin. This is a fleet with absolute trash in it. So we'll sail her west towards Cyrenica to see what's going on. Actually, I wonder if I can... Cyrene, controlled. So I'm aware that there is a settlement there and where it is, but not who owns it. Uh, Libya owns this. So we'll li what we'll likely want to do is land at Cyrene, um, Pritonion, and Alexandria simultaneously. Alexandria, Memphis, Diospolis, Mos Hardmos. There's no ports over here. We won't worry about Jerusalem. Really, those green cities would be more than welcome. So somehow the Etruscan League managed to get down here, which was wise. I didn't even see that before. Um, Rome is just really vulnerable right now, as long as there's an Etruscan army here and not a bunch of Roman armies. So, he is in the city with his small army. We'll have him recruit some more archers, since he should... Oh, I just barely can't afford them. Well, such is life. Uh, I really like to secure... I can't even secure a non-aggression pact with Libya because they're a client state, I think. Can client states... I don't think they can. They even control the city of... Oops. They even control the, like, the city of Carthage itself. Welcome, friend. Let us conclude uh, they're not likely to do a non-aggression pact. And then enjoy the pleasure. They're, not, they're moderately likely to trade. They'll tick off the Romans, but the Romans aren't in much state to do anything about it. So... On behalf of my people, I accept. No. Okay. Well, they'll at least have to break the trade agreement to um, stop us. Let's see what that does to our Rome relations. Not too much. Alright, well, we'll call the episode here, and I will see all of you guys in Part 7. Thanks so much for tuning in.